Tesla just leaked internal data, showing the Model 2 has only 17 moving parts in its motor. Your Honda? Over 2,000. That's not an upgrade. That's a complete redesign of what a car even is. But here's what nobody's talking about. Leaked production specs reveal 1,800 sensors monitoring every bolt, every weld, every millimeter of assembly in real time. If one thing goes wrong, the entire line stops instantly. Why would Tesla engineer a car this obsessively? What are they really preparing for that traditional automakers refuse to admit? Let's dive right in. Let's talk about something the automotive industry has buried for decades. The average American spends $9,400 annually on car ownership. But here's what nobody breaks down for you. Only $3,200 goes toward your actual car payment. The remaining $6,200 disappears into fuel, maintenance, insurance, and repairs you never saw coming. Your local dealership quietly earns 49% of its profit from the service department, not from selling cars. Every oil change, every brake pad replacement, every timing belt service feeds a system engineered to keep you returning. The entire infrastructure depends on mechanical complexity staying complex. Now Tesla releases a vehicle with just 17 moving parts in its motor, compared to over 2,000 in conventional engines. What happens to that $700 billion annual maintenance industry when cars suddenly stop needing constant repairs? This isn't just innovation. This is economic disruption on a scale that threatens thousands of businesses built entirely on vehicles breaking down predictably. Internal combustion engines weren't designed purely for efficiency. Engineering documents from major automakers in the 1960s and 70s show a consistent pattern, maximizing serviceable components. Each additional part creates two revenue streams, initial manufacturing and eventual replacement. Your timing belt fails every 60,000 to 100,000 miles, not by accident. It's engineered obsolescence disguised as normal wear. The system works because drivers accept it as inevitable. Tesla's elimination engineering approach asks a fundamentally different question. Instead of, how do we make this part better, their teams asked, how do we remove this part entirely? The Model 2 eliminates transmissions, oil systems, exhaust components, timing belts, spark plugs, and catalytic converters. Each removed component isn't just cost savings, it's a failure point that ceases to exist. But here's the implication nobody discusses openly. If Tesla succeeds at producing Model 2 at scale, thousands of repair shops lose their primary income source overnight. Are we about to witness the most aggressive industry lobbying campaign in automotive history? Or will traditional manufacturers finally innovate out of survival necessity. Traditional automotive assembly relies on human inspectors checking random samples. Perhaps one in every 50 vehicles receives thorough inspection. The other 49 rely on trust that processes worked correctly. This explains why panel gaps vary wildly, bolts have inconsistent torque, and some vehicles develop rattles within months while others stay solid for years. It's statistical probability, not precision engineering. Tesla's Model 2 production operates fundamentally differently. According to leaked technical specifications, 1,800 vision and pressure sensors monitor every single assembly step in real time. When robots tighten bolts, Pressure sensors verify exact torque specifications. When panels align, Vision AI systems compare gap spacing to tolerances within 0.1 millimeters. Any deviation doesn't get flagged for later review. The entire production line stops immediately. 
Traditional automotive tolerances accept panel gaps between 2.0 and 2.5 millimeters. Tesla maintains Model 2 gaps at 0.4 to 0.6 millimeters. That seemingly minor difference has major long-term implications. Larger gaps permit water infiltration. Over 5 to 10 years in humid climates like Florida or coastal Louisiana, that moisture causes rust, electrical corrosion, and structural degradation requiring repairs costing anywhere from $800 to $2,000. The tighter tolerances aren't about aesthetics. They're about preventing deterioration that conventional vehicles accept as inevitable. The real breakthrough isn't the sensors themselves, it's the Statistical Process Control 2.0 system running behind them. Instead of detecting defects after occurrence, it predicts them before they happen by tracking patterns in robot arm temperature, hydraulic pressure drift, and microscopic tool wear. When parameters trend toward limits, engineers intervene before producing a single defective component. Industry analysis suggests this approach reduced post-production defects by 50 to 70 percent compared to traditional manufacturing. Far fewer Model 2 owners will experience the new car that rattles problem plaguing conventional vehicles within the first year. My analysis here is straightforward. If this technology clearly produces superior results, why haven't traditional manufacturers adopted it? The answer likely isn't technical capability, it's economic incentive. Perfect assembly eliminates long-term service revenue that dealerships depend on for survival. Every electric vehicle conversation stalls at one question. What happens when the battery dies? It's a valid concern. Replacing an EV battery costs between $5,000 and $15,000. If that happens after seven or eight years, the vehicle becomes nearly worthless. You can't sell it affordably, you can't afford replacement, and you're financially trapped with a metal box taking up garage space. Tesla made battery longevity the Model 2's primary engineering priority precisely because of this fear. Research documents circulating in materials science communities indicate Tesla is evaluating aluminum ion battery chemistry for Model 2 production. Current lithium-ion batteries achieve 1,000 to 2,000 charge cycles before degrading below 80% capacity. Laboratory results for aluminum-ion cells demonstrate potential for 8,000 to 10,000 cycles. If you drive 12,000 miles annually and charge weekly, you'd reach 10,000 cycles in approximately 192 years. Obviously, other vehicle components would fail first, but the battery wouldn't limit the car's usable lifespan. Fast charging destroys conventional lithium batteries because rapid electron flow creates internal stress that eventually cracks electrode structures. Tesla's research direction involves battery architecture distributing charging stress more evenly across cellular structures. Real-world impact means you could fast charge regularly without accelerating degradation, something current EV owners actively avoid to preserve battery health. Temperature resilience matters equally. Traditional EV batteries lose 20 to 30 percent range when temperatures drop below freezing. Tesla's advanced chemistry research targets stable operation from negative 30 degrees Celsius to over 50 degrees Celsius. For drivers facing Minnesota winters or Arizona summers, this means consistent range year-round without battery lifespan being compromised by climate stress. Here's where things get controversial. If Tesla succeeds in producing batteries lasting 15 to 20 years with minimal degradation, what happens to the used car market? Right now, used EVs lose value rapidly due to battery anxiety. A Model 2 with a guaranteed 15-year battery warranty could retain resale value comparable to conventional vehicles.
potentially disrupting automotive financing models entirely. Banks and lenders base depreciation curves on historical data assuming batteries fail. If that assumption breaks, loan structures and residual values need complete recalculation. Tesla's gigacasting creates the Model 2's entire underbody as a single piece using a 9,000-ton press, replacing 171 individual parts that would normally be stamped, welded, and bolted together. Torsional rigidity reaches 65,000 to 70,000 newton meters per degree, significantly higher than conventional unibody designs. Higher rigidity means the frame flexes less over rough roads. Less flex preserves door alignment, window seals, and panel gaps over time. Ten-year-old vehicles develop squeaks and rattles because microscopic body flex gradually loosens connections. A rigid cast frame minimizes this deterioration substantially. The fear everyone voices is simple. If you crash, does the entire frame need replacement? Would a minor accident total the car financially? Tesla engineers designed specific crumple zones into the casting. In simulations of low and medium speed impacts, deformation zones absorb energy without affecting the primary structure. Only severe crashes compromise the main casting itself. Industry estimates suggest approximately 85% of accidents involve damage that wouldn't require frame replacement. The remaining 15% are catastrophic enough that traditional frames would also be totaled. The risk isn't higher. It's more predictable and potentially more repairable than people assume. Corrosion resistance deserves attention here. Tesla applies a coating called Gigavel Ultra to cast frames, potentially providing rust protection for 25 to 30 years. For drivers in states using heavy road salt like Michigan, Ohio, and Pennsylvania, this matters enormously. Traditional frames develop rust perforation within 10 to 15 years in salt-heavy environments, requiring expensive repairs or rendering vehicles unsafe for operation. Gigacasting isn't just manufacturing efficiency, it's creating vehicle structures that maintain integrity for decades rather than years. Tesla is betting drivers will keep Model 2s for 15 to 20 years, which completely contradicts the current automotive business model based on planned obsolescence and regular trade-ins every five to seven years. Purchase price is theater. Total cost of ownership is reality. A 2025 Toyota Camry purchased for $28,000 will consume approximately $13,125 in fuel over 10 years, assuming 12,000 miles annually at $3.50 per gallon with 32 miles per gallon efficiency. Add $1,500 for oil changes, $3,200 for scheduled maintenance, including brakes and filters, and $2,400 for average unscheduled repairs. Total 10-year ownership reaches $48,225. A Tesla Model 2, estimated at $25,000 base price, would consume roughly $3,900 in electricity over the same period at $0.13 cents per kilowatt hour plus $800 in minimal maintenance since brake wear is dramatically reduced through regenerative braking, and $1,200 for three tire replacement sets. Total 10-year ownership, $30,900. The difference is $17,325 in savings, not accounting for fuel cost increases that historically rise 3 to 4% annually. If gasoline reaches $5 per gallon by 2030, which isn't unrealistic given current geopolitical trends, the Camry's fuel cost alone climbs to $18,750, pushing total ownership to $53,850. The savings gap widens to $22,950. But financial models never capture psychological stress. Not budgeting $300 unexpectedly when your transmission starts slipping. 
not wondering if that engine noise means $1,500 in repairs next week, not sitting in service waiting rooms calculating whether you can afford what the mechanic is about to recommend. The mental value of predictable costs is genuinely immeasurable and affects quality of life in ways spreadsheets can't quantify. So here's what Tesla is really preparing for that traditional automakers refuse to admit. The complete elimination of the automotive service industry as we know it. Those 1,800 sensors, that obsessive 0.4 millimeter precision, batteries designed for 8,000 cycles? This isn't about making a better car. This is about making the last car you'll ever need to buy. Traditional manufacturers can't follow this path because their business model depends on you coming back. Tesla's Model 2 threatens $700 billion in annual service revenue. And that's why you're seeing resistance from dealership lobbies across multiple states right now. They're not fighting Tesla's sales model. They're fighting for survival. And this is just the beginning. Once Model 2 proves vehicles can last 15 to 20 years without major repairs, every manufacturer will be forced to follow or face extinction. We're watching the automotive industry's iPhone moment happening in real time. What do you think happens when 50 million drivers switch to vehicles that don't need constant maintenance? Does the repair industry adapt or collapse? Drop your prediction below. This is Tech Revolution and we break down the technologies reshaping transportation. If you want more analysis cutting through the hype to show you what's actually changing, you know where to find us. The age of disposable cars is ending. The question isn't whether this happens, it's whether you're ready for it.